Hello YouTube, this is Keith Kevin Ken, I'm Kevin, and you're looking at today's pocket carry. That's it, that's the pocket dump. That is the picture that I posted on Instagram just seven minutes ago. Turned my iPhone 6S Plus to video, and now we're looking at the Keith Kevin Ken YouTube pocket dump deconstruction. If you'd like to look at my YouTube page, it's at Keith Kevin Ken. I post uh, at minimum four pictures every single day. They're knife related. Starts early in the morning with my first cup of coffee. Now let's talk about the deconstruction. Uh, this is my Mont Blanc um, chronograph that I really like. One of my regular uh, rotation not um, watches, not knives. I've been playing with so many knives. Uh, that's the Mont Blanc uh, chronograph. Oh, the cigar. I'm going to celebrate the end of today. And I just had one of these not too long ago. Trinidad. I have a box of these stashed away. Oh, what a wonderful um, Cuban cigar. Celebrating today. By the way, today is Wednesday, March 23rd, 2016. Wednesday, March 23rd, 2016. I know, I know, I know, I know. A lot of you are just catching up uh, to these pocket dump deconstructions. You're probably just watching it two weeks later, a month later, a year later. But I like to give the date because we do this every single day, every single day. So if you check out the EDC pocket dump playlist, ah, you can just watch months of these pocket dump deconstructions where we play with knives. Today, bourbon. <laughs> you don't hear bourbon a lot in my flask, but today I just felt like bourbon. The coin, my lucky coin for today, let me find out how I can shade that, is uh, part of my Chinese flower uh, collection. This is a Chinese flower because you see how it's shaped. Uh, lunar coin. This is the year of the horse. I always carry a lucky silver one ounce coin from around the world as good luck. My grandfather used to do it while I was growing up. Of course, back then, the U.S. actually had silver coins, uh, so he carried a silver dollar. And I was always fascinated with it. I'm still fascinated with silver dollars. My real thin wallet is a Mont Blanc wallet. It's one of a couple that I have. And the pad underneath that is Smithson, um, which I love, a UK brand. Uh, I will move this a little. Don't worry, we're not going to do another 40-minute video, I promise you. But I hope you had fun. If you haven't caught yesterday's video, you should check it out. It goes long. Hey, it's digital. You can stop it. You can come back to it. But really posted a lot of the new li the, the new Spyderco knives that have just been released in 2016. So you can catch up with what's out now. We're still expecting, man, at least 10 more folding knives coming from Spyderco. A couple of big flippers, and a couple of other wonderfully designed uh, collaborations. So I'm excited. I keep saying it's going to be an epic Spyderco year, and I believe it. I'm saving up <laughs> to get them. Hit subscribe right now. Hit that subscribe button so YouTube lets you know when I post my uh, videos. I do mail calls. I also do... Um, these deconstructions. I do many collections. The only thing I don't do is something that I call reviews. <laughs> the reason is I get kind of bored telling you the dimensions of everything. I really do. <laughs> That's what Google's for. Um, but other than that, uh, so this is not a review. This is not a review. Nope, not a review. What this is is just a love of knives. We just play with knives all day and all night on this channel. So let's talk about it. By the way, if you want, I think I told you about my Instagram. Yeah, I did, at Keith Kevin Ken. Um, so this week, I'm carrying a Copa all week long. The Copa 
is a series of 16 knives from Spyderco, 16 gentlemen folders. They all have this profile, VG10, steel, Spyderco, uh, leaf blade, small leaf blade, uh, 2.4 inches, VG10, um, but the scales all change. Same, same pocket clip, same back lock, very strong Spyderco back lock on all 16 knives. The difference is the scales. This scale is called stacked wood. It's a bunch of different woods lined up and put together. <laughs> Isn't that beautiful? In this uh, Spyderco Copa. Kind of looks African-like. Uh, it's called stack wood. The other thing about this, each of the 16 knives is each knife is limited to only 600 of them. So there's only 599 stack wood copas uh, in the world right now. I'm celebrating it because I've had 15 of the collection for over a year. Couldn't find my 16th knife. I finally did it and bought it. And now I hear, this is Wednesday, it should be coming in Thursday, Thursday, probably Thursday night. So maybe on Friday, we'll finally, I'll finally be able to show you all 16 knives in a mini collection video here on this channel. If you want to see that, because these are special knives, they're all a lot of special scales. Uh, hit subscribe so that you're reminded when they come. This is a really nice knife. This is... The Chaparral 4 from Spydeco. I'll tell you, the Chaparral is, to me, really a under-discussed and under-purchased series of knives. This right here is Chaparral 4. It's a stepped titanium scales. All of the uh, Chaparrals have that wonderful back lock. The blade is a 2.75 inch blade, which is great. It's under that important three inch blade length for some people in Boston, Chicago, and other places in the U.S. and around the world. I love it. Um, the, the, the blade is a carpenter steel, CTS XHP steel. Man, it's just so wonderful. I keep calling it the uh, step brother of the Sage series. It's smaller, uh, but man, there, there are four of them, and I'm going to show you all four of them in just a second. Um, I love this 50-50 choil. I haven't talked about that in a couple of days. Uh, Spinaco does great with their choils. <sighs> Choil is right here where you can put your finger. I have fat Michelin man hands, big finger, but look at this. On a little knife, it fits just perfect, just perfect. I say 50-50 because what Spyderco usually does is a half of that choil is part of the handle, so they don't even take up a lot of the blade space, which is great. They give you a lot of space, but you still have that blade. Look, even on the little Copa, you know, we're talking about Copa with a 2.4 inch blade. Uh, I, I, I think I gave you the right blade length on this. This is 2.75 inches, but even with the Copa, look, look how much choil. And then even the back choil. So you really get this wonderful, in a little small gentleman's folder, fat hands. You can pinch it and really do good work with it. I love that about Spyderco. Again, they have a lot of different knives, a lot of stylish knives. But Sal Glasser, he always said he wants working knives, no matter what kind. And that choil just gives you a great way to play with your knife and use it. I love that. This is the Chaparral 4. Uh, by the way, the Copa is going to be my keychain knife all week <laughs> until I get my last piece of that series man you just don't know maybe you do you guys are collectors when you get that last piece of a series it just does your heart good and once i get that turquoise ah oh, i can't wait anyway this is the stepped up i'll tell you the uh chaparral three was also stepped up titanium 
um, body handle. You see that? This one, of course, is the blue stepped up titanium. This one is not blued out. You can see they're the same. Here's the crazy thing, and it took me a while looking at them. This actually is the exact same pattern. It's just that they blew out, they colorized different sections of it. Man, this is a production company. But man, they do such a great job with their knives. They feel great in the hand. Look, there's my wire. <laughs> there you go, there's that wire clip. That's the chaparral. There are four of them right now. You know, the, the blue one uh, is expensive um, for a smaller knife. And I've noticed that a lot of people it seems like they're available and a lot of people aren't picking up the last one, which means pretty soon it'll be discontinued, which means pretty soon that's going <laughs> to go up in price, I'm sure, on the secondary market. We'll st we're still going with my medium carry, which is the Chaparral. Here's the Chaparral 2. Again, a titanium body, but this has that little diamond pattern. Exactly the same profile. Exactly the same steel, CTS, XHP, carpenter steel, and of course that very strong backlock. And my favorite clip, the deep pocket wire clip. And then of course, here's the Chaparral 1. You know, to me, the same profile, as I've said, this is a series, but the reason I talk about it as the Sage. There's Sage 1. This is the Sage 1. This is Chaparral 1. Now, of course, the Sage is a little different. In this case, Sage 1 actually has a liner lock. But remember the Sages. The Sages were created to celebrate great knife makers who had a wonderful contribution to lock mechanisms. Yeah, I can't pronounce mechanism either. And um, so, of course, the Sage 1 is celebrating the liner lock. Sage 2 celebrates the Chris Reeve integral frame lock. 3 celebrates the bolt lock. 4 celebrates the back lock. And then the new 5 of the Sage that's coming will celebrate... Spydaco's compression lock, the one that you see on the paramilitary two. But you can see why I say this is their small brother. Of course, they're not celebrating locks. They're celebrating great gentleman folders. So all of them have that strong back lock with that choil. But doesn't it remind you of the Sage? Oh, man. Very nice collection. This is my carry. It's the blue stepped Thai Chaparral. Look into the Chaparral series. If you want a wonderful smaller EDC knife, because I think the Sages are just perfect EDC size and really does a wonderful job as far as cutting. Man, look at Chaparral. Very nice, very nice knife. Very nice knife. And then the last carry is my big carry. You know, I didn't play with a lot of knives. I played with the Chaparral to think, to see which Chaparral I was going to carry. Today was one of those days I woke up, I went to the cases, and the first thing, for some reason, I said to myself was, I do not want to carry a Chris Reeve knife today. You don't hear people say that very often on a video. I love my Chris Reeve knives. I have a bunch of them. I feature a lot of them um, because they are great EDC knives, and I have a bunch of them in a whole lot of different variations. But sometimes I just get tired of carrying them. And so I went to the Striders, and instead of the Strider, I picked up this Mutt. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's a crossbreed, but man, I really like it. I really like it. This right here is the ProTech collaboration with Strider. ProTech does a lot of wonderful automatics. 
and other kinds of knives, but mostly known for their automatic knives. They teamed up, and let me tell you something. This is one of the best collaborations of this kind that I've ever seen. I own several Striders, and man, this feels exactly like an SNG. It does. Now, they have a Makarta Shosai on this one. This is a little special. They have planar ones with satin, um, a nice satin blade. These are the first that came out, so they don't have a lock on these. They don't have a lock for the automatic button. Now they've come out with the second version that has a lock on them. And of course, this one is jazzed up. This is the Makarta. They have G10 ones. And this has that wonderful, <laughs> it's really a wonderful blade. 3.5 inch blade. It's that Chad Nichols black eye Damascus. Oh, is that a nice black eye Damascus? Look at it. Oh, man. Wonderful Strider SNG. It feels like a Strider SNG. It has that steel back. It has that one piece that goes halfway down and then, oh man, on the back side. Of course, it's not a Strider with that frame lock back here. They don't need the frame lock because it's an automatic, but man, what a wonderful night. And Purdy, is that Chad Nichols Black Eye Damascus? nice or what you don't see that often has great jimping it's very useful you can see how dirty my hands have made that black micarta <laughs> i really like it and when i have it i flip it a lot i'm allowed to have an automatic where i live i know some of you aren't but automatics are great to play with at a desk <laughs> and i play with mine a lot but very useful this is as sturdy as a strider they really went out of their way to make sure that their ProTech Strider meets everything. This is a more expensive one with the Micarta and the, the Black Eye Damascus. You can find these on Blade HQ and elsewhere, not an exclusive. Man, that jimping is that good, you know, you feel the jimping just like on a Strider. There you have it, my carry Copa. My uh, keychain knife, the medium is the blue stepped up chaparral. I wanted to show you the four chaparrals in the series. I call them the Sage's little brother. I brought out Sage one to just give you a look at how they are. Great gentleman folders, great. And with that 50-50 choil, that little 2 point, what is it, 2.75 uh, inch blade under three inches so it's legal almost everywhere in the u.s and around the country it's very nice and then of course my big carry is this wonderful collaboration between protech and strider it's the protech strider sng 3.5 inch blade and in my case it's that special chad nichols black eye damascus there you have it, folks. That's it. That's the carry. That's the deconstruction. Thank you very much for watching. Hey, you guys, I really appreciate your time and the worth of your time. I understand the worth of your time and very honored that you spend some of it with me on these deconstructions. So I appreciate that. If you're new to this channel or if you just like the way things are going, how about hitting that thumbs up button? It really helps me. If you're new to it and you haven't subscribed yet, why not? Become part of this group. It's a growing group. We're going to have fun. Once we hit 500, I'm putting up my most expensive case <laughs> of knives, and we're going to go through all of them, about 80-something knives um, in celebration. There you have it. That is the Pocket Dump Deconstruction here on the Keith Kevin Ken channel. Hey, you guys, you have a perfect, perfect day. Keep your pockets full. Goodbye.